to do is head over to Line Rider. You should know how to get there already because you should have watched my uh, previous video of this or else know how to use it already if you're uh, watching this because this is going to be advanced. So we're just going to hit the play button, get right in there. Okay, so of course here we are, opened up into the workspace, all the tools and everything. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be do going into is just a little bit more clear things about how lines work. I had one um, comment saying that like the, the line writer goes through lines that aren't green because of course green is just for decorations. So if you draw a line, I'm just going to draw a line like this and then zoom in on it, you'll notice that there is a black side and a blue side. So the black side is solid whereas the blue side is not. If the line writer guy falls onto the black side, it'll stay there, but the blue side will just pass straight through. So I'll just demonstrate that. You can press Control Z to undo. If I draw a line that has the black side up and then hit the play button and see, it just sits there like that and slides down. But then if I draw it the other way, it makes it blue. A uh, quick note, you can also press Shift, hold down Shift, while drawing to invert the line. Like so, to make it so it flips it. But if you drag one way, it's blue up. If you drag one way, it's black up. But you can invert that, like I said, with shift. So if I draw it with the blue side up, you can see when I go, then it just falls straight through. That can be useful, but also annoying sometimes. But it's useful for making the, if you want the writer to go through certain lines, but hit the other side of them, basically. And that works for both the pen and uh, uh, just the line. So, uh, yeah, that's just a quick little thing. That also is applies to the red as well. You see the one the red side is not solid, the black is. So then you fall top and zoom like that. And the other way will not. So that's just how it works, you can see there. Okay. So let's say that you decide to start drawing. I'll just draw like a little down thing like that. And we want it to like launch off the end, right? So it's gonna go down like so and zoop. Okay, so now say we want it to hit a red line that catches it and zooms it up. So we can just select a red tool and then go up like that. It doesn't really matter at first, you're just going to have a little starter thing. So see, as you can see, that works good. And now we're just going to make like a, a a normal line to sort of catch it like this. And as you can see, it kind of just doesn't work. So when things that, the reason that it snapped like that was because it kind of hit the top of that line and sort of, pow, got whacked apart like that. So really, making them stay on the line is really just trial and error. So of course, since we saw that, you can either take the select tool and drag the end, or else take the line tool and draw a little extra at the top, and then you just try again. So as you can see there, rolls down. If that's what you want it to do, that's good. So now it can just fall back, and of course it hits the red line down here, like that, which is not what we want it to do. So we need to make some sort of thing to catch it. I'm just trying to sort of show how, you know, it's not super easy to make tracks like this. It it is it really is easy when you start, but you don't get it right the first time. So as you can see, we got to do that. And of course, this is where the nice thing about the one-sided lines comes in because the rider can go through that side of the line, but then hits this side to catch and falls off like that. So another tip here is that if we, for instance, wanted to make a really long ramp like this and then, say, put a little like a loop at the end to catch it and bring it back up. This will not work. I will show you here. It will definitely not work whatsoever. And that is because the rider goes super fast. This is something you'll run into kind of often if you have your rider going super fast. You just have to slow the rider down gradually. One way I found to do this is actually just use the straight line tool, grab the end of it, and just very gradually bring it around. This will not work the first time, very likely. It'll probably fall off again. But you just have to keep tweaking it and trying again. I have not really done much with making um, synchronized ones with music, but I imagine that's even harder. So we'll just see what happens here. And yeah, that's still way too fast. So you can just undo all that. You can also just use the, the pen tool to like bring a big sweep. And as you can see, the rider is still on, even though he stretched a lot. So... You can see right like that up here at the top. Okay, there we go. It looks like it's working. So as you can see, it barely works. And of course, the nice thing is you can actually put the rider down in the middle and then draw the line around it. And then when it works, then you'll see that the rider is still on. So we'll just run it real quick. And as you can see, that larger gradual slope brings it around. And 
it's kind of bumpy, but really, bumps aren't a big deal too much a lot of the time. If you go so, yeah, you just, like, keep trying until it works, basically. So let me just, just watch our little track back like this. Yep. Of course, this is fairly slow and simple, but you can get pretty complicated. I have two other tracks, which are now, one of them is now appearing in the top corner, right up there. Um, that you can go check out if you want to. Those are a couple of mine. Another one is now appearing. <laughs> and, uh, now it falls back down. So you get add more and more stuff. But one other thing I'm going to show now, which is also pretty tricky. Uh, I'm just going to press the new button. And I'm just going to hit OK because I don't want that track. It's all right. Make sure to save it if you want to keep your track, though. So the thing about loops is that they're very difficult. You can't just take a line do that and then erase that that will yeah that's not gonna work so yeah for one thing it's way too slow and obviously it'll just fall through the hole but um sorry about that but uh if you made this part out of like red line to make it zoom faster it's still just gonna like it's just gonna hit right there you can see cuz and so this is like real physics right here. The reason it hits that is because as it travels along here, the gravity starts to pull it this direction, and so it just smacks the end of that line straight on. So basically the way to get around this is you have to erase that part right there and then and then draw it coming. Whoops. I <laughs> have to press shift to invert the line. To actually make it come out like that. So that it'll actually fall onto that line because of centrifugal force and gravity. Because this is, you know, it's a physics thing. Now, it is still going way too fast, and it's actually hitting the edge of that line. Can we actually get this? I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to do this on the video. Kind of editing the edge of this line. Oops. There we go. So I'm just going to work on this for a little while, and uh, I'll come back to you in a minute and show you how it went. do is actually make this part of it go up right there as if it's going into a loop and then actually start no don't make it continuous actually then lift your pen and try again I'm actually gonna try using red right here to do this try to make it as smooth as possible so that it won't you know hit things So as you can see, I actually ended up using red, which you can certainly use the uh, blue and black lines. Just make sure you get enough speed originally, but I decided to use try red right here with this. So as you can see, it speeds around and jumps straight through. So the reason that the rider can ride upside down, I had, a, I had a comment about how it can ride upside down. So the reason that in this case you can ride upside down is because of basically centrifugal force bringing the rider around the top and spinning off the bottom. That's one way you do it. There aren't any like magnet lines or anything that you can actually use like that, but there are ways to like make centrifugal force push the rider up to make it ride upside down for a short time. But um loops are tricky, but a good way to do them is with red lines since uh, it'll also give it a little speed boost for the next part, but using the other kind of line can certainly work, and um, I have done it before. I believe there are loops in uh, one of my videos, I think I have. Maybe not, but anyway, that is one way that you can um, make loops. So that's it for this uh, tutorial for Line Rider. I hope this answered any questions you have, and if you have any more questions, then comment them below, and I will try to help you with them. So I'll see you next time on Joe Stuff.